Hey everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this golden text effect in Adobe Illustrator so you can tune every single text you have into the pure gold. So let's get started with a new document. Ctrl N or Command N on your Mac to bring up a new document panel. And I'm gonna size this document with 1920 by 1080. Click create. Okay, so I already have my artboard with the two gradients and if you want to follow along this tutorial, you can go to the first link in the description and just download these gradients or you can follow the second link in the description and copy paste these colors and arrange your gradients as you wish from the written article. So everything for your convenience here on tutorials.net don't forget to give us a bump to this tutorial if you enjoy it so guys let's get started with the type tool click t to grab the type tool and i'm gonna type my word gold and increase it in size of course increase it to size to fill around half of my um width of the canvas and uh, go to the character drop down to select the typeface and uh, my typeface is the poppins uh, bolt so poppins bolt you see the large letters to build their gradients uh, the second uh, uh, typeface that i advise is Audrey uh, bolt as well so you can uh, follow the link in the description and download this Audrey gold bolt for absolutely free okay we are ready to undock our appearance panel. If you can find your appearance panel, go to the Windows Appearance and go to the Windows Gradient to bring up your gradient panel, just like this. So I want to detach my gradient panel and make it a little bit wider so you can see how I arrange all of these gradients because this is a very heavy gradient, 21 gradient spot and this one is the, a little bit lighter but nonetheless it contains a nine a gradient spot so let's go start with the appearance panel uh, here you can add new fields for your text so let's click on this add new field on the bottom left to bring up three fields so you need to click three times and i want to grab the stroke and drag it on the bottom so pull, pull it down and select the first fill on top we are going to work on with it so i'm gonna use the uh, airdropper tool or you need to just click on the gradient slider first and then uh, head over to the bottom line of the grid or hover over it and you see that your cursor is changed to the um white arrow with the plus sign that means that you can add the gradient stop so you can place the color spot here you can put a little bit more color and then you can use the uh, delete stop or you can just drag it to the bottom to delete it okay so you need to create nine gradient stop and as i said previously you can download this gradient and just uh, move the same way i uh, you just use the airdropper to <coughs> actually wrap this gradient and bring up to this field okay so this gradient contains nine gradient stop and let me see what we have b2 uh 690b you see at the position of zero uh, percent at the position of three percent b3 6d 0b and the position of sorry and the position of the 5.5 percent ba7207 uh, then this uh, yellowish, orangey yellowish FCA32A uh, at the position of 30%, at the position of 58% CF7E21 and the position of the 63% C6771F and the position of 80% uh, uh, 9 e 651 nine Guy, guys if you are using my article or using the description and just copy paste 
this hexadecimal value. Let me show you how you can do it actually. So assuming you have the default gradient, let me select the default gradient right now white to black and you add a color, you need to double click on it, then go to this top right icon uh, and from this drop down select the RGB and uh, you will see the hexadecimal field, you need to select it and type your uh, color. Okay, so let's uh, continue, Red, let's proceed with our gradient. Okay, this gradient should be arranged from top to bottom. So grab the gradient tool or click G and arrange it from top to bottom. Just like so. Okay, this is amazing guys. Let's go to the next field. And this field actually works as a highlight. So we need to grab the solid color, simple solid color, the yellowish one, go to the color picker and select the yellow color, a pretty bright without any mid-tones. You see that I am using the pretty bright vibrant uh, yellow color F4 E158. F4 E158. Uh, click OK and now the most important we need to shift it to the left so it can be seen opposite the gradient so let's go to the effects uh, this icon on the bottom left left next to the fill icon add a new fill icon so uh, then you need to go to distort and transform transform drop down and uh, in the transform open dialog box you need to go to the move horizontal fill and use your top uh, arrow button to um, increase it by step of one pixel. You see that it's right now it's one pixel. You wouldn't see any effect right now on the preview because um, this is hardly seen on the white background. But uh, I will um, show you then how it works when we uh, move to the third field. So just believe me that is working right like a show. Click OK and select a third field. Again, guys, let me just draw the gradient. And for this gradient, guys, let me um, shed some light on this gradient. This is the yellow, orangey, brown gradient. And all of them are arranged in this way. So they create these uh, bright highlights and the tint. So they are kind of creating this metallic reflection. So uh, basically what you can do if you are doing the it from very beginning if you are not downloading my gradients from vitorials.net you can start with the white uh, black and white gradient add three gradients like in the position of let's say uh, four percent and the position of eleven percent and then go to the for example very bright yellow again very bright yellow then the second one should be brownish brownish not this a little bit like this okay a little bit more saturated and uh, the last one is the orangey and now you can uh, hold alt or option key and uh, duplicate this uh, gradients with the proper arrangement with the proper arrangement okay so let me proceed further this is how you can create it from scratch let's say and then you can uh, select the uh, one of the colors let's say you think that it is too bright for you it is too bright you can uh, first guys to see whether it's bright or not you can click on these air balls to hide the two fields on top if it's too bright for you you can go to the uh, top right icon again go to RCB and then decrease the brightness here or increase the saturation or okay you can do whatever you want but this is how actually I approach the creation of this gradient okay so so far so good a pretty heavy gradient and we need to grab the gradient tool or click G and again arrange it from guys if you don't like uh, your making you can like rearrange the gradients in the other order uh, okay so far so good let's guys uh, bring up the uh, other fields and select your third 
field with this 21 color spot heavy gradient and go to the effects finally because we are now creating the extrusion and the one of the reason I'm not using the 3D for extrusion because all of the gradients into the 3D are rasterized. I don't want it to happen. So obviously I'm using the these effects and then distort and transform transform and we are using the bunch of the duplicates stuck upon each other to to simulate the 3D options. What I need to do? I need to use the scale first. And inside the scale, horizontal scale, I mean, I need to provide 99.98, 99.98%. So you just gradually and very slightly reduce the scale, horizontal scale, shrink it down a little bit. Uh, check preview, you wouldn't see anything. And now we need to move it vertically move it to the bottom so your vertical values should be positive one pixel and now uh, go to the copies uh, text input and set the number of copies uh, let's say to 18 pixels right now we are ready to grab the preview uh, i don't like my making but not because the uh, copies is not sufficient enough the copies is okay I don't like this arrangement of this gradient, so grab again the gradient tool and work, play with your gradients. Maybe from left to bottom will be uh, better. So you can see, you can play, you can adjust and fine tune your gradient using the gradient tool. Let's move on. Let's go again to the effects because right now I want to add also the tint. And I want to add the drop shadow. Uh, for both of them, I can use the drop shadow effect. So go to the stylize drop shadow here under the effects drop down. In open dialog box, let's first create the. Of course, we will create the tint, not actual shadow, but the tint. So head over to opacity set it to 75 percent which is i believe default value and go to the y offset value and set it to one pixel and delete the blue it's supposed to be zero the color black is okay click ok and uh, voila we create the tint we have the yellowish highlight we have this uh, tint and uh, let's add another uh, drop shadow go to the effects again distort and transform transform oh sorry uh, of course the uh, the shadow so, so stylize drop shadow sorry uh click apply new effect if you see this uh prompt from adobe illustrator set the opacity to 35 pixels and set the y offset value to to around 10 pixels and check preview but uh, since to me I didn't select anything or yes I didn't select anything so pardon me uh, guys let me quickly redo all of my doings and you see you have your shadow of course with Y offset you can uh, kind of like regulate the uh, size of this shadow. So I want to diminish a little bit the Y offset and set it to 7 pixels. Uh, okay, let, right now let me focus and uh, see how it looks our highlight. This is our highlight highs. Uh, this is how we, uh, this is how our highlight is looking. And this is our okay, our tin is supposed to be here. But I cannot see it because again we didn't apply it to the drop this drop shadow to any effect. So let's go again to the stylize drop shadow, apply new effect, 75 pixels, and a Y offset to one pixel. Click OK. Aha! And right now let's put it on top. So now you see. The, our tint, our highlight and our shadow. So guys, 
This is how you can create this editable golden metal text effect in Adobe Illustrator. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. Go to vidrolias.net for more Adobe Illustrator and graphic designer tutorials. If you want to learn how to improve your efficiency in Adobe Illustrator, give my Udemy course uh, how to be more efficient in Adobe Illustrator at right. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.